Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. His name is Mike Brenner. My name is Peter Loshak. We are the Odds Couple. You come to sportsbookreview.com. It's Thursday, February 2nd. This is the Odds Couple, uh, college basketball Odds Couple show for Thursday, February 2nd. And every Thursday, of course, we're joined by Jeff from BMOCWins.com. Big man. Always love having him on because yeah, he can, uh, you know, talk me off of things. Uh, yeah, well, we, we, so and we talk support. with him on the radio show in the morning mm-hmm. or the live show. And yesterday, we broke down some yeah. games together and got some very good insight. How did everybody do yesterday? I had a good day yesterday. Yeah, yeah I, I had uh, most of, like, I had, I had, uh, I had, I faded Wichita State as a big favorite that cashed yes. i took a uh, baylor i had a bunch of yep, uh, winners you did. yeah I yeah that. and also how about your tweets you were on a 12 nope. one yeah it went there. like one and four one and three yesterday or something and like and that guess what you told me and you swore <laughs> by it no tweets tonight no yeah. tweets tonight and guess and what it's you just did. so funny and as yep. soon as i knew it it's like there really are like gambling gods because i was like as soon as i talk about not even necessarily brag which is yeah. i mean brag yeah i was bragging. Okay. i was like yeah it's 12 in a row. as soon as i brag about my tweets in a video i know yeah. i'm gonna it's a jinx it's a jinx for yeah the guy that's talking about about the guy pitching a no hitter and then loses it exactly the next inning. exactly all right but the good the good the good news is that still my tweets are like 12 and 5 over the last yeah, 17 no and uh I, I hit a bunch of uh, college plays so i'm warming up in college good for sure for you good for you and i know one thing i found mm-hmm. out last night what's that, that? Uh, i'm telling you frank martin got that team playing some ball yeah great They're the real on deal. that one no, not, i don't need to hear that i'm just saying this guy's got him ready i really have a good feel for that mm-hmm. that team right now i just and UCLA blew up. Yep, blew great up. call, okay. Mike Brenner. So you had a, finally we're both finally. Kind of off of a good nights. All yeah. right, so uh, you have the usual Thursday card with a bunch of uh, you know mid range uh, conference games, and uh, you know, and then of course uh, the Gonzaga and St. Mary's Ooh. games. We'll get to in a second. Yeah. Uh, Jeff from BMOCWins.com. How do you feel about this card? And how many picks are you going to share with us today? Uh, I feel pretty good. I got two picks, guys. I'm ready to uh, ready to go. All right, Mike. Some last night that I don't normally do. Right. What'd you on say? My podcast. On my podcast, I picked. Every game last night, right? I went nineteen and thirty for thirty-two. Pretty good, right? Yeah, hell yeah, sure. sure. Especially since uh, since I believe you said that you didn't like the or no, that was on Tuesday that you said you didn't like the. No. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was yeah. the day before. All right, so let Mike Brenner, how many picks do you have for us today? Um, I've got one pick. All right, just one pick. All right, yep. well let's let's start off with uh, today tonight. Maybe uh, two, we'll see. Okay, some some big uh, road favorites. Once again, we have the Gonzaga and St. Mary's conundrums uh, as big favorites. Do you want to take them? Do you want to fade them? Obviously, they've both been great bets in most spots this year. Gonzaga at BYU plus eight and a half. I'm thinking. I mean, Gonzaga's awesome. They've been awesome. They are awesome. They're ninth number one. I'm thinking it might be a spot to take BYU plus eight and a half. Jeff from BMOC. Well, let's start with you, Mike Brenner. What do well, you think? Well, yesterday. Pete in the afternoon, I, I, mm-hmm. I covered some stuff mm-hmm. with uh, Jumpin' Joe mm-hmm. Gavassi, right? And this is one of the games, and mm-hmm. he broke down some numbers. BYU plays this team tough oh, sure. every time, and uh, he is all over BYU. Really? He yeah. loves them with the points. What's the line well, sitting at? Well, it's still 8.5. Eight eight yep. the, the only problem with that is that this year, B- Gonzaga is particularly awesome. I know, know they are, and you know what? Last week, BYU was particularly bad their mm-hmm. last couple yeah. games. You know what I mean? But still, there's something about when they're at home. Sure, that, yeah. And, uh, I'm... I'm I want to so bad pull the trigger on Gonzaga on the first half, but mm-hmm. something tells me BYU might show up. Yeah. They might not. I'm off it, though, but uh, Jumpin' Joe broke it down. All What's right. Big Man got to say? Big Man, what do you think? Uh, no, I'm actually going with Gonzaga here, guys. I, mm. mean, I, I, I mean, this is pretty low, this number. I mean, they've been laying 20, 21 points the last couple of weeks. Now they're only laying eight and a half to BYU. Listen, I don't think BYU's very good, personally. I think they're a decent team. I don't know they're on Gonzaga's level. This isn't the typical BYU team for that's not walking through the door tonight. Uh, Nick Emery may not play one of their better players. I, I just think this is too low. The crowd will be a bit great there. They always have a good crowd at Marriott Center, but I'm not really sure that this team can hang with the likes of Gonzaga. They just have too many weapons. I, I think I think Gonzaga by double digits here, guys. Mm. I, I didn't know about Emery. That's big. Yeah, if he's out, that really – I mean, I wonder if that line will move. Yeah. If that's he's... 14, well, that's 14 points a game out of the lineup, and – Last night the line was ten and a half. Now it's down to eight and a half. Wow. Okay. It's just Gonzaga is so good this year. All right. I'm not I sure know. what I think. And I then know. on the other side, and then the other game, uh, a similar situation. St. Mary's, awesome, awesome as a big favorite, Pacific. awesome as a road favorite. Now they're giving a fifteen and a half to Pacific, a terrible team, but it's fifteen and a half too many. Mike Brenner, do you have an opinion on this one? Well, you know, again, I love St. Mary's in certain spots, but. I, they've just burnt me too many times, and I want to pull the trigger in the first half. Something tells me tonight they're probably going to get it done, but mm-hmm. I just can't pull that trigger. I think the likes of Pacific, they'll just get up for this game. Yeah. They'll play them tough. They're at home, and I think St. Mary's uh, maybe will overlook it. But then again, the status of their ranking right now and, and or not ranking, whatever, uh, they, they need style points, so they better go beat the hell out of somebody. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Pete. I can't do it again. All I'm, right. I'm, Big man, what do you think about that one? I'm not really too big on St. Mary's games. I like them. I think they're efficient. Problem with them, I've said it before and again and again, 
they are very slow tempo. There's not a yeah. lot of possessions. It's hard to cover big numbers. Uh, Pacific, not a very, very good offense team either. But I don't know. I just don't have a great feel in St. Mary's. I'll I'll, I'll I'll stay away from those. All right. Yeah. And then uh, one other huge road favorite game that we have to talk about, Arizona over Oregon State. Obviously, Arizona awesome. Oregon State terrible. Line 16 or 16 and a half. Is that too many? What do you think, Mike Brenner? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Again, is, is Arizona State going to get up for them? Mm -hmm. Are they going to literally go, hey, wait, we got all, not a whole lot to play for, but we could get ready for this game? Uh, does Sean Miller have these guys coming out like they had the last couple games? But before that, they were they were struggling. I mean, that was two games ago, first half. They got their asses damn near handed to them, and then they turned it on. I don't know. That's a big number. Again, I, I'm going to pull a big man. I'm just going to stay away on this one. Big man, what do you think? Yeah, you know, I've looked at Arizona. It's interesting. I've seen that they've, they seem to always win by double digits, but not by a lot. I mean, they're always winning by, like, 12 to 15 points. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a low point in your schedule. I mean, how up for you are this game? But um, Oregon State is bad. I mean, they're they're, they're really bad. So I, I would a gun to my head, I would probably lay the points. But I'm skeptical because Arizona, they just they kind of just win by 15, and that's yeah. good enough for them. That's all right. You know, and there is another factor here. Um, Arizona has a shot right now to get in there and say, you know what, we can play with anybody, mm -hmm. whether they do or not. But they have that opportunity because there's just nobody sticking it out, saying this is ours. I got it. We're heading that way. Yeah. And uh, that's another thing that Sean Miller could get his guys ready for. So, I don't know. It all depends on how motivated they are. Like like, like Big Man said, this is that spot in their schedule kind of yeah. flat. All right. Well, let's get to the picks that we do kind of like. Uh, Big Man, you said you have two. What's your first one? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, kind of off the radar, but uh, Wofford over 183. They're playing the Citadel guys. We talked about the Citadel. The Citadel is the worst defensive team in the country. They're also the best offensive team, a highest tempo in the country. Country. I mean, they're scoring 102 points a game at home, uh, giving up 97. I mean, that is NBA numbers there. Um, both these teams foul a lot. You're going to see a lot of free throws in this game, a lot of easy buckets. I mean, both these teams shoot at 78 and 76 percent. Um, last four games have gone over in this series, and 16 of 23 have gone over. Listen, I've learned with Citadel overs. Don't don't think about them. Just kind of run with them. Um, yes, I need this game to be in the 90s, but. Citadel gives up 100-point games like it's candy. Wofford should be able to, to to kind of do whatever they want. I mean, they're already a good offensive team. Uh, defensively, they had some struggles. This one should be real high, 98-92, mm -hmm. something like that. All right, a 183, oh, minus 108. My, uh, Mike Brenner, go ahead. What's interesting about that big man, he said, you know, number one offensive team and the worst defensive team. What the coach just say, hell with it. We're not going to play mm -hmm. no defense. We'll just outscore them. <laughs> that, yeah. That's NBA numbers, man. <laughs> Yeah, um, their goal really, and their coach will come out and say it, their goal is to just outscore people. They just run up and down the court. They press. They hope for steals. And like I said, tempo is high with them. So, uh, guys, there's allowing opponents to shoot. I mean, we're in February. Opponents are still shooting 53% against them. That's wow. You know, Jesus. I, I was thinking about this game as well, where they already played once this year, and it was a one-point game. I was thinking yeah. about uh, taking Citadel plus six. You've obviously looked at this game, uh, Jeff. What do you think about Citadel plus six? Yeah, I mean, they seem to play a little bit better at home, but, I mean, the whole thing with them is, I mean, you're playing with fire, Peter, at the yeah. end of the day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I hear you. I am. I will admit they're Bombettos. healthy. They got their best player back. They are healthy, and... You know, Wofford can give up points. I mean, Wofford's not very good defensively either. They're not giving up 97 points a game, but he's still not good. I'm telling you, I would just kind of go with the over. I've had good luck with this yeah. over the last couple years. Um, and, Peter, we know when you and I agree on a, a total, whether yeah. it's in football or basketball. Well, yeah, I have – I, that's yeah. true. And I, I, haven't, had, to I haven't had a chance to look at the totals uh, for this card yet. I've only looked you, at the spreads. But you know what I do now? Yeah. I'm a bottom feeder with you two. Whenever no, I yeah. watch, whenever I watch you two and a total hooks yeah. up, I'm just sitting there waiting, baby. I'm sure. jumping in that car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you for should. Real. I will. I will go with Citadel plus six. Right. It is Pull playing, that trigger, it, it is playing with fire, but uh, I'll take it. All right, Mike Brenner, you said you have one pick. What's that for? I us? do. I, uh, we broke this game down yesterday. Jumping Joe Gavazzi and I, Michigan State at Nebraska. Mm -hmm. I'm taking MSU mm -hmm. on a pick 'em. I mean, it's Tom Izzo for crying out loud, and every since Miles, you know, Miles Bridges is back. That makes a huge, huge difference for this team. And now is the time. They have nine losses. This is a revenge game from last year. All right. This is a perfect setup here. I love it. I am all over Michigan State on the full game. Is it still a pick'em? Uh, actually, we can give you a bet. The SI line would be plus one, minus plus one ten. I don't understand why. I know Nebraska started out hot as hell in the in the Big Ten, but lately they have not looked good whatsoever. I'm dying. Well, to they hear did beat they did beat uh, Purdue, uh, Purdue outright. Yeah. Well, now. 
that, yeah, that, that I, you're yeah. right. That is my one mistake. But before yeah. that, they weren't looking yeah, too right, sharp. Right, right. Now I'm thinking the big win over Purdue that might just kind of quench their thirst. And yeah. uh, I don't know. I just think Michigan State's got too too much talent, and, and I think they can beat this Nebraska team that, that feels like they're up and coming. But uh, big man, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I actually, Mike, I think that's a good pick. I think at home I, or on the road here, Nebraska. They always ever. They don't really ever show consistency. Off a big win, I think the public might be looking to back them here. Michigan State, everyone's down on them. But you mentioned Miles Bridges back. Mm-hmm. I think Tom Izzo rallies the troops tonight. I think they go into Nebraska. They're an inconsistent team, Nebraska. I would, I would, I would go with that. That's a good pick, Mike. All right, yeah, that like is a it. tough one because you can't throw away Nebraska's a no, big can't. win over Purdue, but you, you also can't. can't throw away their struggles before but, that. And you know what? Uh-huh. You've pointed this out a lot of times. When a team like that gets a big, big win, all of a sudden the next game, if they take a day off, yes. it's like, you know, NC yes. State, sure. NC sure. State sure. last night. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I'm yeah. still pissed off yeah. about them. I mean, we knew, talk yeah. about not having the guts yeah. to pull the trigger. We knew that that <laughs> NC State, we knew that Miami, Florida was, was a And we knew, we knew that Big Man yeah. said it's a setup, and we still didn't do nothing about it except jump on it. Holy shit, we ought to be slapped. That's how sports betting goes. All right, Big Man, Jeff from BMO wins.com you have one other pick you'd like to share with us what's that yeah i'm gonna go memphis minus 13 mm. I, listen, I don't really like to lay big numbers on the road but south florida is horrendous i mean they're really bad yeah uh it, it's only gotten worse for them actually i mean their coach is gone their leading scorer left the program but now their new leading scorer injured probably not going to play tonight 13 and a half points gone I mean, they're just dreadful. I mean, Memphis has really played well this year. Offense has been there all year. Defense has really stepped up over the last five games, only giving up about 63 a game. And you look at in conference for South Florida, 0-9, 2-7 ATS. They're only scoring 59.5 points a game, uh, shooting at 38% and giving up 77. They've lost 8 of 9 by double digits. I mean, guys, I mean, do I really need to keep going into this? South Florida? <laughs> I love I mean, it. That is beautiful. I mean, really, they're, they're really bad. I, mean, yeah. I just I don't know what else to say. I think Memphis kind of, um, you know, they haven't had a lot of blots lately. I think this one, they go in. South Florida has been a clear bet against for a long period of time with me. I'll go with Memphis here. I think they yeah, have I was leaning that way as well. And you know what? I'll, I'll put Memphis on the first half, minus 7, minus 115. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I don't know why I, I just came to my mind, but congratulations. I think it was you put, You had Tulsa last night, right? Yeah. Great yeah. call, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Hey, thanks, great thanks. call, yeah. Pistol Pete. Yeah. No, great of, call. I had a, I had a, a, two days ago, I gave I gave a bunch of uh, those underdogs and the first halves, and most of them lost. And yep. yesterday, uh, most of them won, except won. I didn't give the first halves. No, so but that Tulsa was a beautiful play, man. Great call. All right. So so those are your picks. And I have a bunch of picks that I'm leaning towards. Jeff, did you look over this? card can i ask your opinion yes uh, all right the first one you probably looked at i'm guessing william and mary is on a run of dominant home wins they're given four to northeastern northeastern is a solid team uh you know for that conference but uh william mary minus four what do you think Ooh. yep at home i would go with them peter I, I i think they're northeastern not a great road team have had some struggles on the road william and mary i'm not looking to jump in front of home they've owned a couple teams including wilmington last weekend great one for yeah that. i remember that all right, I'll take that one. Then another one uh, that I'm thinking about. I don't know if you look at this one, but Detroit at Cleveland State. Detroit is, has been very up and down, but they have had some ups. They've yeah. had their ups. And then Cleveland State also kind of up and down, but in general I feel like they're a down team, and Detroit getting seven. What do you think about that one? Yeah, I don't get that line at all. I, Detroit's played better, beating some good teams lately. And tempo-wise, I like them over what Cleveland State's going to give me. So, yeah, I think they can win that game. Yeah, Might sure. be a good oh, money sure. line play. All right, I'll yep. take both of those. Detroit plus seven and uh, William & Mary minus four. And go ahead. Yeah, Mike I wanted to add one more. Yeah. I forgot go about ahead. Santa Clara. What's the best shop line oh, on the first like half? One? Yeah, I talked uh, yeah, with Werner Nessler again last night and broke that down and jumping Joe Gavazzi, and I uh, did a, a video on that as well. But what's the first half line? I know that thing moved. The first half line, uh, not, not moved that much. They're at Portland. I'm just concerned. Portland's been bad, but I'm worried this spot might be uh, – Decent for them as a home dog. Uh, Portland is Santa Clara minus two and a half, minus one fifteen. Yeah, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take Santa Clara on the first half minus the two and a half. Okay, yep. and then one other game again, big man. I don't know if you looked at this one, but uh, Idaho at home against Portland State. Idaho also a, a de- kind of like similar to uh, to Detroit, uh, a decent team, some ups and downs, but they've had their ups. Uh, Portland State a little bit crappy, and uh, I'm thinking Idaho minus four at home. What do you think? You know, it's tough to back Idaho. I mean, their best player has been out all year, kind of been a downtrodden program for them. They don't ever get a great home angle. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Big Sky is a tough conference. I'm usually looking to back the underdogs in that Mm -hmm. conference, but I don't know. Idaho might be inspired tonight. I don't think they will be. They just don't do a lot for me. But, yeah, I mean, Peter, look, you're 
fire today, so I, I would go with what you're going All right, I'll take it. I will and take it. You know what? Yeah. Every time I love it when you say, Big Man, I don't know if you looked at this one yeah. on this card. Hell yeah, he looked yeah, at it. He, he picked he every game yesterday on his podcast and damn near right. won every one. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> what the hell? I'll take it. I'll take I'll take I'll take my leans on the sides. Idaho minus four. And I'm also gonna take uh, also in the big sky an underdog like he said, a line that's moved, but uh, I'll take it anyway. Northern Arizona plus five and a half over Idaho Ooh. State. Uh, Idaho State is just a crappy Pick. team. Yeah. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Good pick. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, okay, that is going to be it for me. And, <laughs> yeah, uh, right. and, uh, yeah, tune in later. No, there's, there's some other picks that I could give, but uh, that's going to be, that's gonna <laughs> be it for go. me. I haven't had time to look at the at the uh, totals. Obviously, there's a, there's one game that says, I don't know, I really don't know if you look at this one. This one has trap written all over it. Uh-oh. UC Davis at Cal Poly. UC Davis, the top team in the conference. Cal Poly, terrible. But Cal Poly, just a one or one and a half point home dog. Why is the line so low? That has trap written all over it, yeah. right? Yeah, I was actually going to bring this up at the end. I, I, I'd be honest. Polly here for sure. Mm-hmm. This is this one stinks, man. Yeah, I mean, this one really looks like it's gonna rabble. UC Davis, best team in the conference. Now they're getting they're giving two to the, one of the worst. Yeah, I'll go with Cal Poly. And yeah. you know what? Again, first year we're all doing this together, just like the totals. I'm gonna sit back because when both of you say this looks like a trap and feels like a trap, yeah, it's a yeah. freaking trap. I love this. Yeah. All man, right. One, that one, I th- other trap, one other trap possibly, guys. Belmont laying a short yes. number on the road as well. Murray State, not very, not a bad team. Right. Well coached, getting three, three and a half. I would probably look with the home dog there Ooh. as well. Yeah. yeah, those two games, very, very interesting. Yes. All right, big man, Mike Brenner, nice uh, nice picks, guys. Nice breakdowns Good of show. these tough college lines. And uh, I guess we'll be back tomorrow, Mike Brenner, you and I, for the Friday college basketball That's card. That's right. right. We're heading to Punta Cana, and hopefully, uh, God, can we get big man to go with us? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Do your research before you bet. Check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign-up bonuses. Open up several accounts. Shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.